95% of web pages get zero traffic. You know, you think you have a website and that it's automatically going to be found, but that's, that's just not the case. You are, you are hundred percent right. Um, so Google makes it super hard. So 95% of the pages get zero traffic. Think of like, you know, the way you got into dental school or medical school, you have to do well in everything. You have to do well in the interview. You have to do well in, you know, uh, I guess uh, some kind of a standard test like MCAT or whatever the standardized test is. You have to do well in your GPA and that, which means you have to do well in all your subjects. Like if you don't do well in one of these things, you won't get in. So same thing. Now, remember Google is giving us traffic for free, you know, imagine dental school being free now. I know I don't want to get caught up in that discussion because I know a lot of people spend like half a million dollars to get educated, but Google gives all this for free. So Google pretty much says, you know what, unless you're getting an A in all the things I care about, you don't get any traffic. Now, 90, 95% of people in, in healthcare use Google to research who they want to go see for what. Like they, they use Google to find out what possible solutions are out there. Like, you know, I have crooked teeth. Perhaps I should look at six month smiles. Perhaps I should look at uh, Invisalign. So they use Google to figure that out. And then they use Google to select the person who's going to provide the service. I remember, you know, there was a time when if you worked at a car dealership, you had a you had job security because you helped the person coming into the car dealership uh, find the car that's right for them, the exact model of the car or even the make of the car. You even help them pick the right you know, features. And then you convince them that this is the right price for them. Today, most people, I mean, 90 plus percent of the people before they walk into a car dealership, they know the car they want, they know the features they want, they know the model they want, and they know how much they're gonna pay for it. How come? Because of Google. Google gives them all the answers so they can sit at home and figure all of this stuff out without being pressured by the sales guy. So pretty much sales guy has become an order taker who just writes down the order and nothing much to do. So of course, if you're in the car sales business, you're not going to do as well as you used to because of what Google has done. Same thing with, you know, healthcare, right? Google is helping people make all those decisions before they pick up the phone. So you want to make sure that you are playing that organic free game, which only in the 5% of the practice owners are playing. And to do that, you have to pay attention to a lot of things, around 200 things, but I'll, I'm going to talk about the top five buckets, top five group of things. One is NAP. Uh, it stands for name, address, phone number, consistency. You want to make sure that more and more NAP profiles has consistent information. Next is Google Lighthouse. Go. We'll get into that more. Third is Google EAT. E stands for expertise, A for authority, T for trust. Next is original content. Google loves original content. So, you know, you want to make sure you have original content. And then um, last but not least, the fifth bucket is quality backlink. So those are the five buckets. If I were to tell you the most important things to focus on to be in that 5% that get 95% of Google traffic, those are the five most important things you should focus on.